Hey everybody, welcome to part two of rebuilding my tool cabinet in my garage. We are picking up where we left off from the last video. In the last video, we built the cabinet base that's behind me. It has a steel frame and four inch casters and all the other this platform can handle 1200 pounds. And in this video, we're gonna focus on putting the cabinet shells on the platform. We're going to start with the two base cabinets that are 72 inches wide by 24 inches deep. We're going to glue those together and screw them together and make them one. And that's going to start with a little bit of sanding to remove the clear coat that I put on the cabinets when I first built them so that the glue has something good to bite with. Once I get those glued and screwed together, we'll put them on the base, properly attach them, and then work our way up with the rest of the cabinet shelves. So let's get started with that. With the lower cabinets attached to the base, I can now attach the upper cabinets. But before I do that, I want to add a 6 inch gap between the top of the lower cabinets and the bottom of the upper cabinets. The lower cabinets are 6 inches deeper than the upper cabinets, and in the previous setup with the miter saw, this was for the extension supports of the saw. Now I'd like to use this as a place to drop stuff when I'm doing things like a quick cleanup where I run around and gather all the tools from the work surfaces and then put them in their proper home, or I need to put the tool down for a second without having to put it fully away. With all the pieces cut on the table saw, we can now glue them and nail them together and attach them to the base. <laughs>
It has been about a week since the last shot in the video, and since then I have pulled all of the hardware out of the cabinet and then masked all of the inside so that paint didn't get inside the cavities. I did three layers of black paint. The first layer was cut 50-50 with water. That way the wood could absorb all of that moisture since it's been in the shop for a while and it's been pretty dry. And then after the paint had dried, I went ahead and put all the hardware back in the cabinets and then installed all of the drawers. As you can see, I left the top two drawers out of both of the top cabinets. And that was because those drawers just got a little bit too high even for me. I'm six foot four and this thing is like literally just as tall as I am. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different by just putting a shelf across and then I have some of those slide in containers um, that can hold screws or random things like that. So that's gonna go up top. Um, I have the opening in the middle. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. And I am reorganizing the drawers in the bottom. But that is all work that I'm gonna be doing off camera. <clears throat> I don't think you all are really gonna be interested in how I organize my tool cabinet drawers with the exception of all my big tools. I am gonna do a video on that. We're gonna end the video here. In the next video, we're gonna be putting all of the drawer fronts on with all of the handles and continue to improve the design so it just looks nicer in the background. But as it is with the paint and the work that I've done in it so far, I love it. It's so much nicer. It, it's gonna be able to handle all of my tools and the couple of drawers that were just kind of like stuff collectors, I pulled all that out and I'm gonna find a different solution for that. So we're gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, I'd really like it if you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and are interested in engineering and design and building projects, I would love it if you subscribed. I think you would really enjoy the channel. But I'm going to sign off and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.